So let's talk about you. So you were a signed uh, male when mm -hmm. you were born, yep. and you have an identical twin brother. Jonas, yes. Okay, and at what age did you know that that was not right for you? Well, I really started um, thinking like, you know, this was, something wasn't right. You know, I, I, I realized that. At what age? I probably three, four years old. Three, really? Three, four years old. Well, it, it was, my case was kind of unique because I have an identical twin brother, and so growing up with him, he was, you know, identifying with all of these male things, and he was feeling very comfortable in his body, and I wasn't. And so at the same time that everyone was like, yeah, Jonas, you're a boy, um, they were telling me I was too young to understand what gender I was. Um, but, you know, I went up to my parents, and I was like, listen, I've for a couple years, I've tried this whole boy thing. I think it's lovely. Um, <laughs> it's just not me. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so as, as soon as I could, I tried to voice to my parents. And you were in a small off. town in Maine. Yep. And, and what did your parents, how did they react to that? So my father grew up very conservative. And he, um, he really had set expectations for what boys and girls were supposed to be like. You know, this is what you do. This is what your sister does. Um, and so when I came out to him, he didn't, that did not fit into his plan of what raising twin boys was going to be like. Yeah. So he just, you know, he blocked that out. He ignored it. Um, he focused on his hobbies and that left my mother on her own for a while. Um, she didn't grow up with the same kind of expectations that my father did. Um, you know, while his concern was always, you know, kind of what will the neighbors think, she was always much more concerned with you know, will Jonas and Nicole Wyatt at the time, will Jonas and Wyatt um, be safe around the neighbors? Mm -hmm. And so she wanted to make sure that we always had a safe place to come back to in her home. Um, and the only problem was, you know, at home, dad didn't get it. And so it took a while, but when our family was attacked, um, when we were in elementary school, he really stepped up and he said, you know, I don't get this, but I love my child and I'm going to protect my child, whatever it takes. Good for him. Yeah, right. Good for him. Wow. Um, yeah, I would imagine that would be really hard on, especially having an identical twin brother and, and just and going to school. And were you bullied at all? Yeah, well, we tried our best to work with the school and with, you know, uh, the other um, families in, in the school system. And we did a gradual transition. I started transitioning when I was in first grade. And every year we kind of tacked a new thing onto it. Like, okay, this year you're gonna wear pink. This year you're gonna grow your hair out. Um, and so we tried to answer questions as they come up, came up, but um, th so there were always there were always bullies. I when I would um, ride the bus, I couldn't take the bus anymore um, because kids would refer to me as it on the bus, um, which doesn't exactly make you feel good. Um, and then in fifth grade, um, it really kind of peaked at um, a male student in my class. His grandfather was a part of a special interest uh, Christian right group and he had his grandson follow me, follow me into the girls' bathroom. And, you know, he said, my grandfather says we don't have to have any faggots in our school in fifth grade, so. Wow. Um, you know, you're, you're so uh, eloquent. You're so put together and, 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 you know, carry yourself so well. Um, the fact that you have gone through what you've gone through and uh, you're so well balanced, I, I really admire you for that. Thank you that's very that's much. amazing. Really. I mean, that's tough. That's really tough. Um, so, so you're, you just turned 21. I did yesterday, yeah. All right, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, and Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, what a, what a huge, you didn't even want to be an actor. Uh, and, and now all of a sudden you're on this show and you're, you're doing so much for the trans community. I mean, this is amazing. You put college on hold and, yeah. and you're acting, which is something you never wanted to do. Well, it was weird. I always loved theater growing up. And I was always like, wow, it would be so fun to be an actor. But you know, my next thought was, I was like, wow, I'm from nowhere, Maine. You know, no one's from Maine. Um, well, people are from Maine. Well, but, yeah. we are, but we don't leave yeah. Maine. Yes. You know, usually on our way out, the mooses get us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, I never thought just, I did a guest episode of Royal Pains, and then right after that, Supergirl happened. Wow. And I was like, how did I get here? Every day I walk on set and I'm like waiting for someone to be like, ma'am, 
ma'am, you can't be here. I don't know who let you back, but you need to go. Yeah. I don't know how I did it. It's well, it's amazing. It's 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 really important that you did it, and you, like I said, you're a great example. And the trans community needs uh, more representation on television. So good for them for casting you, and good for you for for making history. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I'm happy to be here. All right. The season premiere of Girl airs Sunday, October 14th on the CW. We'll be right back.